Hey, this is Jay bringing you a guide on how to pick up the sixth chest in the Vault of Glass. This is the one where you get the Cult Ghost, and we are doing the Paradox Daily Heroic Mission. I got my man Comp here, and he is my Sherpa for this. He's actually showing me where the three ghosts are that you need to pick up. There are three ghost shells that you need to pick up, and he's going to show me the location of them. And he actually did a video on this on his channel, and I got a link to that video right there. It's a much shorter guide. I actually wanted to do one a little bit longer that showed you the actual routes that you actually take and how to get out of here just in case you're new to destiny or new to the vault of glass and don't have a lot of experience in them so i'm going to show you how to get out of here as you just saw there was the first ghost and you want to make sure you have your game sound turned up i actually have all the sound turned down so you can't hear what is actually being said because it's a pretty interesting conversation and i didn't want to spoil that part of it for you but if you're wondering how to get to these areas and everything like that just watch the video and comp is going to actually take us to them now i'd recommend having three people or at least one other person to go through this if you fail if you die at any point before you actually pick up the third ghost you actually have to start over again and do this all over again so it helps having that third person in here now comp is going to actually have to end up leaving me and right after we pick up the third ghost so i'm gonna have to do this all solo the rest of this you're gonna have to beat this big minotaur type dude but i'll show you how to do this or give you some advice on how to complete that but after you pick up the third ghost shell it doesn't matter if you die you can actually just respawn and keep going but we've got the first one on the way to our second one and uh, this is going to start looking really familiar right here if you're doing this actual mission you're going to have to go down in that area and so you just want to head over here to the left and just kind of keep jumping down in here and uh, I'll show you what you have to do once you get down in here. But as we make it down here, we're gonna actually have to spawn in all of these fallen people and you'll get uh, quite a few fallen people to end up killing. So just go to the middle here, comp's doing that and that will actually activate this next part. But as you can see, uh, sped this up a little bit and just kind of fast forward it to the end. You don't need to see us killing everything. It is going to help you if you have more people in here because you do get a lot of people <laughs> to take out. But you can still manage this solo. I think Comp did his solo, so it is possible in that respect. But after you kill everybody, then you're going to want to head over here to the left. This was kind of like a secret route in the Vault of Glass when that came out and you actually went down this way so go over here to the left hand side there's a little hole in this wall you'll jump up in here <laughs> easier for a warlock probably and a titan than a hunter to get up into this hole but then you're just gonna start making your way down now be careful as you're making your way down because if you go too far you're gonna actually have to restart the mission so make sure you pay attention to where we're stopping at there's a little hole in the wall right here and then we're gonna head down uh, one jump one major jump down here and then let's see I don't even remember where we stopped so I'm kind of doing this myself all right and here's another major jump going down here and some rocky area and then this is it I think right here as you start kind of going more laterally instead of vertically this is the area that you want to be careful of. don't keep going straight down you actually want to come up here a little bit and that's a good way to remember it the part where you start going laterally horizontally instead of vertically that's where you want to start being careful and then here is the second ghost all right so we pick that up and then we're just gonna head and make our way down there's a lot of jumping, a lot of vertical jumping in here. Be careful that you don't die. I think comp ends up getting some fall damage and uh, ends up taking himself out. So you want to be careful of that and just take it slow if you're doing this solo. So head down, head down, head down. Like I said, if this is just showing you too much, make sure you watch Comp's video because it's a lot more, uh, a lot faster. He just shows you the location. And if you're familiar with the Vault of Glass or familiar with this daily heroic mission, you don't need to watch all of this. But like I said, just wanted to do this in case you're kind of new to this, new to this raid or haven't done this story mission too much. All right, so after you get down, man, there's still some more ways to go down. I think we end up uh, at the one secret chest area in the Gorgon's Maze, if you're familiar with that. All right, and so here's what I was talking about. The one chest would actually be to my left. 
So now once you're down in this area, you're gonna look for a large Hydra and you have to take him out. I'd recommend probably a rocket launcher or machine gun. I just happen to have a rocket launcher that holds three in the tube and I can hold seven on my character. Plus it has tracking, so it's a pretty darn good rocket launcher. You might wanna go with a machine gun though here in this respect. But there is the Hydra that we need to take out. Now, you'll notice when you're fighting this thing, sniper rifles work really well. You can see I am uh, snapping off 15,000 points of damage here, but you will get encased here. You shoot your way out, don't shoot a rocket launcher. And then there are these oracles that you need to shoot before you can actually do any damage on this Hydra. So I think I think uh, comp gets the end, ends up getting the kill shot on this guy as I'm taking down ads, but you might want to save your rocket launcher just for all these ads. You're going to have these guys, minotaurs, and a whole bunch of other things, and then use your sniper rifle on the actual Hydra, but he ends up taking them out right there. Now, we're going to go into the we're going to make our way through the Gorgon's Maze to the jumping puzzle. If you're familiar with the Vault of Glass, what you want to do is look for this area, and there's going to be a door to my left. And you come into this little cave, just kind of look and find your way around there, but you'll duck down and go through this area and I think I end up uh, turning around but you just gotta kind of find your way into there's no real, real good way to show you where this is at but just kind of look for this area and then head on out here like I said this is normally the way that you would go to the jumping puzzle and uh, you're gonna have to do a jumping puzzle but it's not the same one that we did before so just make your way through here like I said thank you comp for sherpaing me taking me through this area uh, and I think this is the part where I end up dying he ends up dying it's kind of funny right here so luckily we had two people here but normally probably a pretty easy jump right here he ends up missing that uh, or ends up dying on the way down and I end up picking him up and then I end up dying on that same part and he ends up picking me up so uh, pick him up right here and you can see my big fail watch out for that rock right there I think I end up I end up just choking it you know watch this yeah I am not the best when it comes to the jumping puzzle there's a pretty easy <laughs> jump and I cut my uh, boost a little bit too short and end up killing myself so yeah pretty dumb moment for me I could have radiance then if you do this solo you might want to bring in here a warlock with radiance that way if you do end up dying you could just come back instead of end up wiping but <laughs> this is where the third ghost is just jump up here and I'm sure you guys won't have any problems doing that but the ghost is down through this cave over on the other side. So it's over here. Oh, actually, you got to go down. I'm sorry. Yeah, so turn around and just kind of fall down once you get to this part. Makes it a lot easier, but be careful. Yeah, almost told you wrong. But you're going to head down into this area, and then here's where the third ghost is once we get through this little cave area. But there is the third ghost. Now, once you get this, like I said, you don't have to worry about dying. You'll actually, you can die and actually respawn and you shouldn't have any problems. But this is where a comp ends up leaving me when we want to make it over to that portal right there. And uh, I'll show you a place to jump to, but don't spend a lot of time going through there. And I actually get really lucky here, but this part right here, you probably don't have to jump to this part. You could actually just jump to the place right here on the right. But watch this next sequence because these platforms end up disappearing, but I still land on them. I don't know. It's really weird. So I'm going to tell you what to do instead of doing it the way I do. Jump on this one right here in front of me and then jump straight to the portal. Don't worry about jumping on the one to the right and then the one to the left. Just jump straight to the portal. You can pick it up with a Titan or with a Warlock. And I'm sure if you have the bones of Eow on your Hunter class, you should be able to do that as well. But watch what happens to me. I get that old man, uh, an old man handicap that just, uh, they're just really kind to me. So I jump over here and I think this thing ends up disappearing or I was going to go there, but then I decide to go left. Yeah. Don't move. It should just went straight ahead because watch this. I land on that. That thing was disappeared. I end up landing on that thing and that thing was disappeared. So I don't know. Uh, it might look like it's gone, but for some reason it was nice to me. But once you get into here, all right, this is a crazy battle. Like I said, you can do the solo, but it'd be a lot nicer having some people in a fire team with you. Make sure you run the right direction. <laughs> I was actually running the wrong direction. But there are going to be a ton of taken to actually fight and kind of get your way through here. But I'm not going to show you this whole battle. This whole entire mission ended up taking me just under 30 minutes. So uh, be prepared for a little bit of a boss battle here. But you're going to have to make your way through these things. 
I think you're gonna deal with some hobgoblins that hit pretty hard. Also too, some minotaurs that pop out and there's the boss that you have to take out. And I'm just trying to use my ammo up, use my heavy cake to try to just drop him fast. Man, I miss the G horn, <laughs> but um, I think I ended up shooting six rockets into him and using a cake and shooting another six rockets into him and it didn't end up taking him out. So you're gonna have a little bit of a battle here and it's rough. I, you can't really stay back here in this area. You might be able to and just snipe him but I found myself just having to deal with so many of these hobgoblins that it just kind of made more sense to move up on the right and kind of engage those hobgoblins up close and then uh, start working on that minotaur. That just seemed to work a little bit better for me. But if you're a little bit unsure of yourself or don't want to do that, you can just sit back here and snipe. And I'm not saying you know anything if you do that. That's probably a smarter thing to do, probably easier. But for me, it just kind of worked a little bit better to kind of work myself up here and kind of engage these hobgoblins and everything like that. And make sure if they are tethered, if you see the goblins tethering to the hobgoblins that you take those out, you'll see that uh, tether there because otherwise you cannot hurt him uh, or hurt that hobgoblin. But there I am, he's almost dead right here. And I just wanted to kind of show a little bit more of this just so you get an idea of what you're gonna have to battle. Uh, having a Sun Singer is really nice. If you get in trouble, you can do that panic melee strike that gives you the overshield. But I'm sure uh, Bubble Titan or something like that would work really well. Or even the guy with the hammer, man, just seems to be able to do so much damage on stuff. I'm sure that's gonna work well or tethering him with the new Night Hunter would really let you chew through some ads and then just be able to focus through on the boss and take him down probably a little bit faster than you would with a sun singer but whatever class you're using just kind of play to the strengths of that class but hopefully this video helps you out i think i've almost got him pulled down right here i'm gonna pull out my sniper rifle and end up I think finishing them off or pretty close to finishing them off. If you need a good sniper rifle though, I'm using the thousand yard stair. You can pick that up from the vendor, from the Vanguard vendor. And it is really good in PVP and also really good in the raids and all of your boss battles. So make sure you pick that up. Also too, if you didn't have a chance to run this mission, keep in mind these missions do come back every week or every other week. So just kind of be on guard for it or watching out for it. It's called the Paradox or Paradox Daily Heroic Strike mission and you'll be able to do this at that time so just kind of file this video away uh, for later but hopefully this guide helps you out there he is taking him out after you do that then you're just gonna head to this middle area make sure you pick up all your goodies though and you're gonna come to this door there'll be a little indicator showing you where to go then you just come in here pop the chest you get your cult ghost in a in not an exotic ingram you'll get a legendary ingram probably should pop a three of coins when you're taking on that minotaur and of course your 15 legendary marks for completing the daily heroic mission but after that you'll come back to the tower and you want to talk to this guy right over here he is the future war cult guy and you'll turn in that ghost to him and then that's it so like i said hopefully this helps you out if it does i would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up if you don't like it thumb it down let me know why you didn't like it but guys as always take care and god bless